Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and in today's video we're hopping back on Angel Legion to go ahead and sort out our elves. I mentioned this last week that we need to go through our elves and tidy things up, and we have a lot of combo heroes that we don't need to use anymore that we can get rid of to get some more light and dark elves, and potentially we could get ourselves our first max level elf, which will be very exciting. So folks, let's go head in to Angel Legion. But before we do that, let me remind you today's video is sponsored by Angel Legion. It's free to download on the App Store for iOS. It's available on the Play Store for Android, and also you can get it on Steam. My recommendation would be to play from PC and use an emulator, which will allow you to use the Android servers, and that will give you access to play on Android servers, whether it's through your phone or from your PC, which is pretty cool. And also guys, you can get some free rewards for your account by going down into the description and you'll find a link below where you can enter your Angel Legion account information as well as the codes that you can also go ahead and find in the description. Be sure to pop those in, get some free rewards and give yourself some additional progress. Anyway folks, let's go check out what we're up to today on Angel Legion. So here we are back on the main account. We've got Mysterious Girl, Deadly Shadow, Hell Scythe, Time Guardian, Magic Arrow, Shura Killer and Mental Healing as well as a Phantom Blade here that are our SS heroes. And our plan today is to give them some good elves. If you take a look, we've been stockpiling quite a few. Look at all these water elves, earth elves, air elves, and fire elves we've got. It's kind of ridiculous just how many we have. Now, what I want to go ahead and do is build one water elf, one earth elf, and one in the other ones as well, and then focus on the light and dark ones with what we have left over. So I think we need to decide what exactly we're going to run from our just non-light and dark elves. So let's start with this one here. We've got a damage resist fire one here, Slamander. We're going to keep her around. She's definitely going to be useful. Let's look at this water one. She's also damage resist. Do I just make a bunch of them damage resist? Is that a smart decision? I think we go with crit resist on this one here, the gnome. And from the air one, do we have one that offers anything interesting? That's dodge. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Does the air one have one that gives anything else? There's dodge. That's damage resist, damage resist. Crit, okay. Increases crit after being attacked. Oh, that's quite cool. I think crit's the right call here. So I am going to actually upgrade this one to level two. So we're just going to pop in these guys here. So that should be fine. And there you go. That's going to be level two achieved on self. There it is. And where was that earth one? Where is she? There's one here. Crit resist. Yep, she's fantastic. Let's just pop her in. So we're going to have crit resist, damage reduction, and crit, and another one that's damage reduction. That should be fantastic. So to further upgrade this one here, we're going to need another upgraded gnome. That's fine. I can totally do that. So we pop in you and you evolve. There we go. And we're going to do the same with another gnome if we've got one sitting around. Because we will need to upgrade that. Yep, there we go. Confirm. Confirm. Evolve. And now if we go to the one up top that we wanted to keep around. This is the one that offers crit resistance. We're going to stick in these ones here. And that should get us a three star. And that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right, cool. So we've got a three-star gnome. Let's see if we can do the same with Undine and with Self. So we need to get ourselves an upgraded version of Self. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in these guys to upgrade this one. There we are. Fantastic. And we're going to do the same again with a different copy of Self. And we also need to do it with Undine as well. So Undine will just pop in some of these guys there. Fabulous. There we are. Evolve. And yeah, this is going pretty well. Let's evolve up this Undine. We've got a lot of Undine copies, actually. That's probably worth just having a think about there. Could be beneficial to maybe even build a four-star Undine if we can. That'd be pretty sweet. Now, Sylph needs another upgrade. So we'll go ahead and pop in this and this. Confirm. There we go. Evolve. And let's go back to the Undine and the Sylph. Let's have a little look-see. We have Sylph here. She can have the two other versions of herself. So this is the one that... Ooh, good thing I checked. That's the one that increases dodge. Where's the one that increases... That's damage resist. There it is. Increases crit. That's the one we want. So in goes damage resist. In goes dodge. Confirm. Evolve. And there you go. Nice. Wow, she gets massive wings as well. That's really cool. I like that. 
I like how they change their art form as they get stronger. It's pretty sweet. Now, this one gives damage resist. So that's Is that the one we're going to go for? Yeah, that's fine. So we've got crit resist, crit, and two damage resists. Yep, that was the plan. Let's see what happens to Undine when we upgrade her. Let's take a look. Okay, her wings become almost fin-like, and there's a little water animation behind her. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see if there's any more progress to be made here. Because to upgrade, I think, our Undine further, let's go see. What do we need? Wow, two three stars. That's going to be quite hard to make with what we've got. I wonder if we can do it with Slamander. I'm going to give it a try because we do have seven Slamander copies. So let's go pop in these guys. I don't know if we'll have enough, but it is good just to compress them together. So there's crit resist. Do we have anything crit resist? Give me some good damage resist. Already got that. Um, crit, already gone with that one. That's crit as well. Damage boost. You know what? Yep, yeah, let's upgrade this one. So we'll have a fire one that gives damage boost as well. Just to have it around, you know, it's nice to have different fire guys so there we go this one we're going to pop in a copy of you and a copy of you evolve and then we'll do it again with slamander to have ourselves another upgraded one if we can so we've got two star two star we need one more two star we're gonna need two more copies of slamander now here's a question do i have any chests we can get them from in the back uh, the answer is no no we don't that is unfortunate not that i can see anyway just normal elemental elf shards there. So that's fine. That's good. So we've done what we can to tidy that up. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Well, if we can clear up space, it means we can get more light and dark elves. Because there is a limit to the number of elves you have. That is the only thing in this game that I'm aware of. Apart from equipment that has a max capacity. So it's worth bearing that in mind. That it is good to every now and then just tidy up your elves. Make sure they're doing okay. So we're going to go with this Undine here. We're just going to throw in some copies. Just to upgrade that. There you go, evolve. And we're gonna do the same with this other one that's equipped to magic arrow. And we're just gonna pop these guys in. There you go, that's a couple more level two undines. Maybe we can build another one? I don't know how many undine copies we have spare, let's see. So there's a two star, there's a two star, and there's one left. Okay, that's fine. So things have been nicely tidied up there. Got quite a few two stars. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Looks like we know what we're doing at this point. So now the question is, how the heck do we advance light and dark? You might see we don't have that many light and dark elves, apart from just a few sitting around. As for the heroes and what they're running, if you go look, Deadly Shadow has a dark one here that offers crit resistance. We have damage resistance on Maya. We have damage boost on Shura Killer. We've got damage resistance on Hellsight. We have hit on our Time Guardian. And of course, we have damage resistance on our healer, which is mental healing. So what we want to go ahead and do is adjust some things a little bit. And as well, it's worth bearing in mind that we have three darks. We probably want to get ourselves another light. And that's going to be for our healer. So it would be really good if we can get a damage resist for light. Then again, we've got to bear in mind that this one here is damage resist. And that's a light one. That's on Hellsythe. We're going to put, I think, a Valkyrie on the front line. It might be worth having another crit resist one, but from light. Because it's always good to have at least two crit resistance ones. Because your frontline heroes will want crit resistance. So that you don't get stunned by something like a Deadly Shadow in PvP. Because that can be quite irritating. So it is worth bearing in mind that that is a thing. For example, there you go. There is a crit resistance one right now. That's actually pretty pretty good and worth bearing in mind i'm actually going to put this on valkyrie i think because at some point we will swap hell scythe and um that will become a valkyrie so we will need the upgraded elf so it's good that we've got a crit resistance one here it's already on deadly shadow that's fine so we'll need to get ourselves some more light and dark ones so the place you get them actually guys let me show you is from the cabin so if you go to the biological cabin there's a thing called convert which allows you to convert your angels into elves, which is pretty cool. And you get three random elves. Now, as you can see, I got a lot of fodder guys sitting around. I don't want to get rid of fodder. That would be foolish. But there's a lot of heroes in here that I just don't need their copies anymore. For example, Shora Killer. What do I need her for? Well, if I look at my team and who I'm going to upgrade, I know that Valkyrie is going to be one of them. So if I go back to the cabin, I can go to the advanced section and double check who I need to make my SS tiers. So I really want to build Sakura Dancer at some point. So for that, I'm going to need Ghost Princess. But that means all my mental healing copies 
are pretty much redundant because I don't know if I am going to build up mental healing. And if I do, I will only need the copies of mental healing required to take her further than she already is. And given that mental healing, I think, is maybe silver star or is she bronze star? Let's double check. Yes, she's bronze star one. That means I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six copies of mental healing to take her ahead. So that means I have 15 copies. So nine copies flat out I can just get rid of because I'm not going to be making a ghost princess because ghost princess is a hero who is probably one of the weaker of the big three healers. So I don't really want to build it. If I was going to build two healers, it would be Sakura Dancer and Mental Healing. So that's good to know. I can definitely get rid of some Mental Healing copies. So let's go to convert and I'm going to do this. Uh, I think until I have 600 remaining. That's the plan. So let's go ahead. There you go. Get some light and dark ones there. Let's do it again. More light and darks. And just keep doing this now until I am out. Until I have 660 remaining, because that is all I will need. And I have so many mental healing copies. So, pretty handy. If you're wondering how I got all these mental healings, you can get them from the guild shop, and you can pick them up just from doing summons. So, pretty fortunate there. I want to keep my Mulan's Time Guardian. Now, there's one that's sitting around. I do need these. I need six copies of Time Guardian to upgrade Phantom Blade, of which I also have six copies. So, that's kind of perfect. Butterfly Girl, I do want to keep around. She's very nice. And anyone I'm definitely not going to build that I won't need. Saint of Orleans. Yeah, I really don't like Saint of Orleans. I definitely don't think I'm going to make her. So I definitely can cut away four copies of her. That's going to be fine. So let's get rid of her. Oh, let's pot her in again. So yeah, not going to need those copies. She's probably been pushed to the bottom now. Yep. There's Ghost Princess. Gonna need her. Definitely going to need her for upgrading Sakura Dancer. So we're going to keep her around. Sakura Dancer... I am going to leave. That's fine. We will need Sakura Dancers for mental healing as well. So I need all the Sakura Dancer copies that I can get. But right now, we have a ton of light and dark elves. So let's go back in to our heroes, back to the elf menu, and just admire the volume we've just acquired. Yeah, look at that. Ridiculous. So let's begin upgrading these guys. And it's worth considering that I want to try and get ourselves a five-star elf. One light and one dark, and then have two three-stars. That'd be pretty good. And then we can consider who we're going to make the strongest. I think we're going to have a really powerful dark one on Deadly Shadow. And if we can, a really powerful one on Hellsight. That would be phenomenal. So we've also got to consider as well Time Guardian, maybe Shura Killer, their options as well. But I think if we can get Deadly Shadow as powerful as possible, giving her a really strong elf, that's going to be nice. So let's scroll down. Let's go ahead and begin by upgrading this one here. This is a light one. And that's, okay, that's crit resist. Oh, that's actually interesting. So we could actually have a crit resist light. And that means we can upgrade the dark one on Shura Killer to get Shura Killer as strong as possible. Ooh, that's fun. And then just have a leftover dark one that's crit resist. And that's going to be the one that's here on Deadly Shadow. That's probably a smart idea. Yep, because this is already attuned. So that's fantastic. Yep, I'm going to do that. So we're going to just pop in these guys and upgrade this Eater here. That's two stars now. But to upgrade that, we are going to need more. So let's go ahead and throw down more of our light guys to evolve. Beautiful. All right, we're going to need to go ahead and build one more. So we scroll down and let's just throw in. I wish there was like a quick way of doing this, but I think doing it manually is probably the safest way and there you have it that is upgraded so if i now go to the eater that's attuned to deadly shadow we can pop in the two two stars and that should get her to three star fabulous now we need to ask ourselves what do we need to upgrade this higher two three stars wow and to get that we're going to need a lot of upgraded ones to two star so let's just begin let's crack it out here we go mush them together so there's a two-star. Let's go again. It's another two-star there. And just keep on going. Brilliant. The funny thing is, when we're done with this, we can probably go back and see if there's more combo heroes we can afford to get rid of. Because why not? <laughs> All right, looking at this, we can now build ourselves a three-star. What does this offer? Crit resistance? Uh, what does this one offer? Crit resistance as well. This one offers dodge. Eh, just for the funsies. Let's let's make the dodge one higher. So she's now three star. And she's not assigned to anyone. 
Uh, now we need to go ahead and try and build another three star one. We won't be able to with what we've got left over, but we're getting close. So I like that. Let's evolve this up. There you go. It's a damage resistance one. And scrolling down, we have two eaters left. So what we're going to do is the exact same thing, but with dark. Let's go. So there's one attuned to Mysterious Girl that increases dodge. Um, yeah, because she's attuned. You know, I, I don't even think we need that one. So I'm just going to go with this one. And we're just going to go ahead and just merge them together. And I have to think about this, actually. Do we need anything else? No, we got two crit resists, two damage resists, I think. And one that boosts hit, one that improves damage boost. Yeah, that's fabulous. So let's go merge all these dark guys together to see what we can get out of this. So we are going to be able to get ourselves a four-star elf. Nice. So if we go ahead, put these two in, we'll have ourselves a three-star. And now, if we scroll up, we get to choose. Who are we going to boost? Is it going to be Deadly Shadow? Or is it going to be Shora Killer with the damage boost? So we're going to put in you. And we're going to put in you. And let's get ourselves a four-star on Shora Killer. Sweet. So here we go. Evolve. And what does this look like now? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I don't think the animation changed too much, but I think when we get to five star, that's going to be nuts. Pretty happy with how that looks. And also that increases our attack, physical defense, and magic defense. So Shura Killer is going to hit even harder, which is kind of dope. Very pleased with that. Now, let's see if we can improve the one that's on Deadly Shadow. We're going to need some more light guys. So we've got a three star one here that's spare. And I think we're going to need some more light ones if we're going to push this harder. So I'm going to go back. We're going to go to the cabin. But yeah, we can definitely get rid of Flame Witch. And I think we can get rid of Bounty Hunter. And we can get rid of Shora Killer. That's good. So let's go to Convert again. Put in these Flame Witches. Because Flame Witch is probably the worst combo hero in the game. I will just say that with confidence. I really don't like Flame Witch. So she can go. And let's go down here. There you go. Flame Witch, you're done. And let's go to the Shora Killer copies we have now. They can go too. Because I don't need them. I just don't need them, guys. Not anymore. And who is it that needed Deadly Shadow again? I don't think we need these Deadly Shadow copies anymore. And whoa, 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 whoa. Eight Justice Knights? Hang on. I don't need those. They can go as well. All right. This is going to be easy. So yeah, Justice Knights, they can all get in the bin. Not going to need them for anybody, I don't think. Yeah. Because it was Mulan I wanted to build. She doesn't need Justice Knight. Yes, yeah, so Justice Knight can get thrown away. Thank you for all of those. Throwing them away. Yeah, Justice Knight sucks. <laughs> and, uh, wow, too many elves. That's, that's a problem you want to have. We're going to mush all these together again. Yeah, look at that for copies. That is beautiful. That is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to merge these now. Let's go wild. All of our one stars. We'll just get them evolved together. Look at all these two stars we now have. So let's start merging those together. So there's a three star. And here is another three star we can make. And with two three stars, we can get another one to four star. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's very cool, in fact. So, do I upgrade an existing one to four star? Or do we make a fodder four star so we can have a five star? Hmm, I think it's worth going with an existing one. So... If you look at this one here that's on Deadly Shadow, that offers crit resist. Maybe that's worth upgrading. Maybe it's the one on Mysterious Girl. Then again, Mysterious Girl is probably our weakest hero on the team. So that's not as necessary. So I think it is the one on Deadly Shadow. Yep, because we will use this at some point. So there we go. Pop these guys in and evolve. Wow. So it's two four-star elves we've got now. And let's go ahead and do the same with the life faction. So let's go take a look at these light ones and begin to upgrade these. And the really nice thing is we've got more elves left. We totally can do this even further. And there you go. So let's go ahead and merge these two stars in the light now. So pop these two together. Evolve. Do the same with this one. 
I'm pretty confident we don't have enough light ones left to go any further. Just two two stars. Yeah. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is with the three stars we managed to get, we could start merging up some of these. So Time Guardian, we could improve hers. And Health Sites, we could improve hers as well. That's very good. Yeah. Or we can improve this one that is currently on Deadly Shadow for the future. Maybe. Maybe, but I, I don't want to. I don't think that's a good idea. Whereas this one, we can totally upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade both of them? Yeah, we're going to do that then. Hell yeah. Okay. So let's go upgrade this. Evolve. So that's a four star in light. And we're going to upgrade this one that's on Hellsight for another four star light. Wait a minute. Who's that bound to? Oh, okay. That's the one on Deadly Shadow. So we actually want to get this one to a higher level if we can. I have them at level 20 at the moment. So we'll just keep you at level 20. Just so I know which ones I'm keeping. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. Now, we need one more in the light faction. Well, fortunately, guys, if we go back to the cabin, we can get some more elves. So back to the bio cabin, back to convert. Who do we want to trash? There were those Shora killers we were getting rid of. I think we've already killed them. Uh, we were doing just this night, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. Let's go take a look. Now, who else is worth getting rid of? Pretty confident Bounty Hunter isn't needed for anything. We can double check in the advanced menu. Again, we remind ourselves it's Valkyrie. And she wants Element Sprite. And then we will be going for Magic Arrow. Magic Arrow is going to need none of the combo heroes, so we don't have to worry about that. I think she's going to need someone like Raging Angel, Punk Guitar, Shining Girl, one of those. Uh, it is Shining Girl, yep. And that means we're just sitting on maybe these Bounty Hunter copies we can get rid of. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll go back to Convert. Bounty Hunter, let's get rid of you. Don't need you today. You can get gone. Woo! Alrighty. So let's go back in. To the elves. And upgrade! So, we've got some more dark ones sitting around, so we're going to merge those together. And I think it's about time we focused on getting ourselves some more four-star ones, so we can have a five-star one. That'll be pretty cool. So, pop these together. Just a couple more two-stars. Or maybe we just get everyone to have a four-star one. I don't know. Either works. I'm not too fussed. It's definitely easier to pick up four stars and use them rather than try and pick up multiple four stars to make a five star, I think. I think that's the smartest decision. But yeah. Oh, okay. We don't have that many light ones left. That's fine, though. So what I'll do now is merge these light ones that remain together to get ourselves a three star, which means we can have another one in the light faction. No problem. So we've got four star, four star, four star, and Hellsythe. Here you go. Have this. There you go. That is another four star. Very strong. Very strong. Now, how high can I upgrade this? Because honestly, if we can get Hellsight even stronger, it's going to make us super tanky. Same with Deadly Shadow. So I'm going to try and take these to what? Level 30 do you think we can get to? Oh, we're out of force. Oh, it's getting expensive. Yikes. Okay. Okay. So I'll try and get two of them to level 30, because the good thing is if we go back to the recruit menu, you'll remind ourselves we can purchase force using our Stardust. I don't actually have that much Stardust, to be fair. We could also buy force with gold if we need to. But yeah, we're going to buy some force here. We're going to go back. We're going to go to the storage. Let's open some of these up. We've got a ton of force chests, so that's going to be a few million coming in. Let's go with here as well. There's our 24-hour ones we just picked up. Now we've got our six-hour ones to open. And we have, I think, that's it. Yeah, sweet. So, let's go back to our elves. And let's start upgrading this one that we got to 27. A little higher if we can. So, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Level 30. So, that's 45% HP. Wow. Considering Hellside's already got a massive amount of HP, that's going to make her super tanky. That's going to improve our win rate a lot. Now, if we can do that with Deadly Shadow as well, that's going to be phenomenal. But for now, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. We're running out of force. That's fine. Hellside is our main carry hero at the moment, so that's really, really good. And the main thing I want to do is try and level her up if we can. But I am out of force still, so gotta bear that in mind. We could go ahead and buy some because I don't actually mind 
using a ton of gold for that. Sorry, not gold, uh, diamonds, because I have so many diamonds on this account. So yeah, I'm just going to get some force. I'm going to pick it up. See what we can pull. If we can get a lucky high roll, let's find out. Uh, okay, we got some. Oh, wow. Eight million in one batch. That's very good. And I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Uh, nothing high there, just three millions and three and a halfs. So let's use those to upgrade her level. See if we can get us a 360. Because that's what I was trying to do last time. Oh, we're still low on force. All right, then. I have a solution. We've got 96. Oh, we're so close to doing 100. All right, let's blast these out. We're going to do 90 summons. Who can we pick up? Let's find out. Okay, Sakura Dancer. Sweet. What else can we grab? Anything fun? Executioner. Nice. Raging Angel. Deadly Shadow. How you doing? And that's it. Okay, cool. That's fine. So let's confirm that. Let's move back. Let's go again. Recruit Stardust. And let's pick up some more Force Chests. So again, we're going to buy all this in Force. 18 of those. Let's go back. Let's go to the Storage. And I think pretty much now for this account, the main thing we need to focus on is picking up force and gold. It's it's really the thing that holds you back in this game. It's kind of brutal. It really is. So let's go. Let's upgrade Hell Scythe. Can we get this higher? We almost got to 360 there, guys. So close. So I'm going to buy another batch from here. A 10 bomb. This is in gold. And we're going to go with the same with force. Another 10 bomb. And that's it, right? No more diamonds on materials because our diamonds are getting a little low. But can we get to 360? Triangles! Of course it was triangles. The one thing that would stop us. So let's go to the cabin, the bio cabin. Let's go to, is it transform? Yes, it is. And we'll just put in a bunch of A tiers. And that's going to get us a good number of triangles. Confirm. Thank you very much. And I'm happy just to throw in just... Just auto-select all of these. Yeah, so we're going to remove those, remove those, so we have some lying around. And yeah, that is a comfortable amount. So we'll recycle that too. Fabulous. Really, really nice. You don't even get that much gold or force. You just get a crap load of triangles. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, so let's go to the Hell Scythe. And yeah, we've got loads of triangles now. And there we go. So we got two heroes at 360. One at 300, one at 290. And it's, it's looking pretty good, guys. We are edging closer and closer to getting this to be a really powerful team. I want to get Hell Scythe to three-star red if we can. Don't even know if it's necessary, though. Her talents are already pretty good. Let's see what formations we've got here. I think it was Partner, where you get a bonus if your elf is upgraded. Yeah, so who did have Partner? I think it was Deadly Shadow. Let me go take a look. I think we put some talents in Partner there. Yeah, so now that's actually going to improve our... Uh, our, our is it Crit Resistance? The Elf Shield is present. Uh, seven star crit resistance. Yeah, for every level of the elf. That's really, really good. So what's our crit resist now? 47% crit resist. Combine that with the 50% crit resist we get from the elf. That's ideal. That's really, really good. Now, what I do want to do, one final little thing. If we go to Deadly Shadow, I'm going to take off the, um, let's see this light one here. I'm going to actually remove this. So... How do I unattune it? I need to go to the elf itself, right? So if we go to the hero menu, click on elves. Now, where is she? There it is. So I'm going to change who she's assigned to, and we're going to go for Valkyrie. Because at some point, I will use Valkyrie, and that is the elf I want to put on Valkyrie. So it allows her to merge with Valkyrie in the meantime. And we have one that we'll need to go at some point onto Sakura Dancer, but... That's fine. That one's currently on Hell's Sight. So we'll have to do a little bit of switcherooing later on. But all in all, I'm really happy. Really happy with how this is. So yeah. Nice. Today was a success, guys. We managed to get ourselves some elves. We got Hell's Sight to 360. And I'm really happy with seeing how this team performs next episode. So if you want to catch that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this and you want to actually see what Angel Legion's like, play it for yourselves, go download it for free on the App Store. And you can also get it on the Google Play Store for Android. And it's available on Steam. So folks, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you next time. Happy idols.